Welcome to this Twin Motion tutorial. Today, we will cover how to use Lumen on Mac computers to improve the lighting in your Twin Motion scenes. Lumen is a dynamic global illumination and reflection system that provides highly accurate lighting and reflections in a real time rendering environment. Lumen is based on ray tracing, a rendering technique that provides high quality realistic lighting, reflections, and shadow effects. Ray tracing can be software or hardware based. Currently, Twinmotion supports Lumen in software ray tracing mode on macOS. To get started, you'll want to first double check if your macOS has the required specifications for Lumen with Twinmotion. You can refer to the Twinmotion documentation linked in the description of this video for the latest information. If your computer does have the necessary specifications, Twinmotion will automatically detect this. You can see if this is the case by navigating to the scene graph on the right hand side, selecting ambiance, and then clicking the render tab. Under render, real time should be selected. And then below global illumination, you'll see the options for standard and lumen. There is a possibility that the lumen text is grayed out. This can be for two reasons. Either your computer is not compatible with Lumen, or your scene quality is set too low for Lumen standards. To check this, you can go up to Edit, Preferences, and you'll want to select the Quality option at the top. In order for Lumen to work, the quality should be set to High or Ultra. You can select OK at the bottom of the window and see how it impacts your options. On the right hand side, I'll navigate to the Lumen text. And now that we have changed the quality setting, we have the option to render using Lumen. Whereas originally, this was grayed out. Once that is enabled, you can edit and control your Lumen settings below. If you want to learn more about each setting, simply hover over the text and more information will appear. Now, let's take a moment to cover best practices when using Lumen with your projects. First off is mesh structure. It is best practice to separate the geometry of your 3D models into multiple instance meshes before importing them into Twinmotion. Using large single mesh structures is helpful for general performance, but not great for Lumen. To align with this best practice, you may want to import your scene using the Keep Hierarchy Collapse mode when importing projects, as opposed to the Collapse by Material or collapse all import modes. Next, we've got surface size and emissive properties. Lumen performs best on large surfaces that have low emissive properties, meaning it is not advisable to have small elements inside of Twinmotion that have a bright emissive property. Now let's discuss rough versus glossy materials. It's helpful to use materials with rough surfaces when possible. You may want to use a different lighting approach if your project is covered in glossy surfaces. Now we've covered the basics of Lumen, how to set up Lumen on a Mac computer, and some best practices. Thanks for joining. See you next time.